All right. Well, <laughs> people keep asking. So I'm going to tell you my take on it. The protest and the corruption on Wall Street. If we band together, we can stop them. Let me tell you something. I don't want to sound like kind of negative on this. I would love for the corruption to end. But I got to tell you something. Be a grown up. Wherever there's money, there's going to be corruption. There's corruption in healthcare, hospitals, because there's money. There's corruption in HMOs because of, you know, healthcare. Oh, the, anywhere there's it. There, in government, there's corruption. There's corruption everywhere you can take a look at it. So, at the end of the day, that's unfortunately a byproduct of a free society. I say that like that, free. There's corruption all over the place. There's platforms that restrict speech. Okay? And there's reality of, you know, CEOs running companies to their benefits and not of the people that own shares. That's another form. So like I said, you really can't stop corruption. It's just part of it. But if you're going to go, no, Lou, we have to stop this, then I will focus my corruption on things that really matter. Like saving human life, preserving, you know, like, let's face it, you know, things that are important to us. I mean, the food industry, believe it or not, there's corruption in there. Um, you go, what do you mean corruption in there? I don't know. Spend time researching um, what's going on with your farmlands, pricing of food, uh, and how certain things are left to spoil instead of going out to people, causing a, you know, a supply chain issue. I mean, there's everything. I mean, the energy sector. You think that what you pay monthly on your electricity, your home heating bill, you think that's you think that price is where it's supposed to be? No, this is corruption everywhere. You got the big oil companies. They they're having a great time when the average person can't afford to like drive around anymore. So, getting back to Wall Street. Wall Street is just one little piece of everything. Look at, look, look at the educational, higher educational system in America. You got people taking massive loans with the banks in order to go to college to get a degree that at the end can't get them a job because everything is robot and AI now. Let's face it, that's the truth. Robots are going to be doing surgery everywhere. Like You really need to look at like there's corruption everywhere. Now these poor kids, they're signing student loans when they're like, 17 years old, they're getting into like multi-level, like high-level loans, and at the end of the day, they're screwed. You think that's not corrupt? And think about what the college charges them for dorms and everything. And for but it's it's there's better things to focus on. You're like, no, but Wall Street's supposed to work in a certain way so we can win. Government's supposed to work that way. Uh, companies are supposed to do certain. I mean, there's so many things. But if you want to protest Wall Street, there's one way you can protest them. One way that you don't got to stand in front of a building, you don't got to make threats, you don't got to challenge, you don't got to do nothing. It's incredible. You know what it is? Don't participate in it. Because Wall Street is nothing but a big business. If you go to a restaurant and you don't like their service, what do you do? You don't go there no more. That's just how it is. But you cannot continue being involved in it feeding the corruption and all the craziness. And at the end, they say, this is wrong. The only way is not to be a part of it. Um, there's nothing you could do. At the end of the day, I've lived a long enough life to tell you it's going to get worse. And the more we become a more digital economy, digital dollar, digital everything, there's going to be more and more. Listen, the other side uses high frequency AI systems to game us, to beat us. At the end of the day, you're not gonna stop that type of corruption. So focus on something that's like worth it. But like I said, if you wanna stop that corruption, real simple, step back, step back and you'll see what happens, okay? That's my take on it. You can do whatever you're gonna do, but I know what I'm gonna do. And at the end of the day, if something doesn't work, I shift. This is how it is. You know, I actually don't even think the Wall Street the way it is now is going to last currently. See all these reverse splits that are happening? Retail is starting to get a bad taste on all this. Getting screwed over the brokers and everything. At a certain point, they're going to just pull out. So cash up now. When this downturn comes, there's going to be other things to do. That's 
probably not going to be in the market because I'm waiting for this mega downturn to come and I'm going to hit some pieces of property and set up some real estates and that's just how it is. Real estate crash is coming. It's already, it's already here, but the memo hasn't hit the street yet. Just move, make your money, move on. Preserve what you got in life because it's very short. So, giant love. I'll talk to everybody later.